We've got some Premier League awards to predict now. Um, I think top goal scorer is first, and it feels like for me that's the most easy one. Just a robot, Erling Haaland. Does anyone think anybody but Erling Haaland is going to be top goal scorer? Oh, oh, you know what, Jackson. Here we go. 40 goal season Jackson now. Hey, Michael, you'll score four goals. How rude. Jackson scores four. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> Against City. Jackson. <laughs> Annoyingly, Harry Kane will be top goal scorer. For Mate, Manchester look, United. You look, see, he has to score 50 goals next season. <laughs> look, wait, we're talking Premier League top goal scorer, right? Yeah. I think that I think that Harry Kane will... Look how close he was last year playing for a Tottenham team who didn't want to score any mm. goals, playing for a Tottenham team that left him as a one-man team. He's now got Madison supporting him. He's now got Ange Postacoglu's <laughs> more expansive game. They'll concede a lot more. They'll concede a lot. But they'll score a lot of goals. So Kane, I believe, will... Look, he was already in touching distance when it wasn't going their way at all. Now, they, now they're I set up... flipping to... on this, yeah. But a part of me still thinks he could come to Manchester United this summer. Yeah, he summer. could. He could. And, and if he did, Jesus, he could, you know. And if he did, you need to then win the league. Yeah. yeah. You have to I say that. that. I don't think anyone can say they have, have to win the league. No, you ha- if you sign Kane not this in summer, you have to not win the league. Not in a Man City world. You have to win the league. You spent 400 million quid with Pep Kane, Guardiola. Kane, like, I love, Man United I love how you look at our accounts more better than yours. Bloody hell. Yeah, well, we spent a lot of money. We spent a lot of money. And deleting all the pages up there. We spent a lot of money. And guess what? We've actually won silverware. You've not won a league in over a decade. Um Haaland will outscore Kane. Uh, he's playing on a far better side. We've got to talk about Bernardo Silva feeding him versus, uh, you know, James some of these Spurs players. You know, James yeah. Madison when he's got his head one down. one of the most creative it. players in the league, but yeah, go on. How many assists did he get last season? Less he got relegated. He created more chances than anyone, though. Yeah, not as many as Phil Foden, Jack no, he Green, created Bernardo more chances Silva. than anyone. Yeah, they just never took him. Fair play. I don't think he will for Spurs. I think Spurs will struggle. I think they've got a really poor squad. Do you not and just Kane's think playing with terrible people. What about the second season? Do you think that Do you think the defenders may have... May have had their their experience, like the experience of playing against Haaland, will stand them in better stead. This clip from the club is brought to you by our mates at Super Six, and we are absolutely loving Super Six right now. And it's back bigger than ever for this new season. And if you're part of our league before, listen, it doesn't mean you're still in our league, so you have to join again. Head over to the app, download the app if you haven't already got it. Join our mini league. The code is Club Twenty Three, and you can compete against myself. Boovy, Rory, and all the club OGs. And we've got to tell you, usually the jackpot prize is a quarter of a million pounds, 250 grand. But guess what? Super Six have quadrupled that baby up and they could be making someone a millionaire this weekend. It could be you. It feels like I'm doing the lottery right now. But guess what? On the lottery, you have to pay a quid to enter. Super Six is absolutely free. So click the link below, download the app, Join our league, Club 23. Get your predictions in for the first weekend of the season. And once you're in, it's so, so easy to play. And it's not like fancy Premier League where you need to change things every single week. No, you just predict six scores. If you get them six scores right, you could be a winner, baby. So get stuck in. Join our league, Club 23. We'll see you over there. The thing we don't talk about, Harlan, I don't think Harlan was very good last season. I don't think he was. I don't think he took the games by the scruff of the net. I think world-class strikers like Henri come a little bit deeper and they, and they do things special with the ball like Ronaldo. I'm not saying he's that level yet. I'm not trying to say that, but I think Harlan can only get better. He scored 50 odd goals last season. So do you think the would main... be different to him though? And maybe, maybe City will score as many goals as they did. But it will become a thing where, you know, the midfielders are getting more opportunities because he's getting doubled up in the middle and all those kind of things. Yeah, but we, we saw that. There was a couple of games. Joe Gomez did a job on him against against uh, City for Liverpool and Anfield and stuff like that. And then he went on and scored, what, eight, nine, ten in a row. That's the I problem. Think some of the goals he scores are un, undefendable. Football, you know, when Henri was in his full pomp, Alan Shearer, these guys, you can't defend them. Do you know what I mean? I mm. think that's why Harlem will, will be top goal scorer. Easy, lads. He scores 35 goals next season in the league. Best signing? Nicholas Jackson. Oh! oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you You're so rude to this me guy? What You're have I done to you? We'll, we'll be calling you him Miss Jackson. New haircut's rubbish. We'll be calling him Miss Jackson <laughs> when he misses everything case? next season. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, since you sat down. He scores less than 10 goals next season. you've got a crew season. cut. You think you're cool, mate. You've been in Amsterdam. <laughs> Sick of it. Sick of it. Got himself a new trim and he's been to Amsterdam and he's suddenly on my case. How dare he you? He scores four goals next season. How dare you? Honestly. No, he doesn't. He does. No, he doesn't. How many does he score then? Look, Declan Rice gets Give me a number. You, can you count Declan Rice be when you get you throw the whole bag at him? Yeah, because he's wicked. But Nicholas Jack. 105 million for a Gareth Barry 2.0. You're having a laugh. <laughs> I've actually said an Arsenal player for me. I think Timber. 
I think he was unbelievable in the Community Shield. He's so mobile. He's good on the ball. He's two-footed. He can play anywhere across the back line. He's young and he's 30 million quid. I love quid. that. I love how You're Charity Shield don't mean nothing, but you use it to, 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 to confirm well, no, no, all your predictions. to anything I said earlier, <laughs> which you... The or, well, thanks, thanks for it completely anything, ignoring me all podcast. I said at the start, of the, the Community Shield is good for one thing. It's ob- observing new signings. And I saw Timber. I thought he's fantastic, lads. I think the best signing, or well, the most transformative anyway, is going to be Andre Anana going to change the way we play it, 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 Andre, what, what was the game he got lobbed yeah, within yeah. two weeks of society the guy's running into Who his cares? own net he fell over Who into cares? his own net that's happened to you do you know how many times that's happened to your keeper by the way what do you mean Edison it, it, it happened give me a game it's a game when give you, me a game Southampton there you go now what oh, fair play <laughs> <laughs> got good knowledge Adam fair play um, no but look Onana's doing it in friendly he's running all over he's shouting at Harry Maguire this guy's a nut yeah case, good and he's, he's not even good enough why are you getting offended for you do, he's not shouting at you, but he's shouting at Maguire. The reason signing. I'm offended is because I've got to sit next to you all season. You'll be saying he's the best keeper in the world. Do you know what, do you he's know what? barely top five in the league. We're doing best signing, worst signing. Yeah. Andre Anana will be one of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's close yeah. to worst. He will I'm be saying one. best. Who, who have you gone for worst signing? Andre Anana, watch. Uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> you have to re- he really should have done. Uh, let me have a look. Who have you gone for best signing? Uh, uh, Andre Anana sorry. for best. Worst, I've gone for Havertz. So have I? Yeah, I've gone the for reason Havertz. I've gone, the reason I've gone for Havertz is... Because the, there'll probably be someone that's worse than him in the season. But the amount of money they they've won't. spent on him, the amount mil. of wages they've given him, he's like one of their top also, three, four earners. that 60 million to Chelsea. Like, yeah. done a rival. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You didn't need him either. <laughs> Where does he every, play? Where every does he play? Player, every player that they have that he could be compared to, the players that they already had, is 10 times the player he is. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, Leandro Trossard is better than Havertz. G- uh, Gabriel Jesus, better than Havertz. Erdegaard. Erdegaard, better than Havertz. Like, if, if, if he's going to play as this midfielder. He had one like, good season exactly by Leiden. <laughs> Yeah, was he had one good season by, by Leverkusen and he's cost accumulatively 140 million quid. Mate, if I had one good season at Sunday League, I could have, I could have been a millionaire. You know, I mean, you know how, how is he owing that bad? much money? You know how you know he's bad? He scored a European Cup winning goal for Chelsea oh, hey. and the fans wanted him out. Yeah. That's his, like, he yeah, didn't even have no about credit Chelsea left fans. in the bank. No, 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 no. We're very, no, we're not. You're very fickle, as, fan base. As support, we're, we're famously yeah, being not fickle. Being fickle is loving him just because of For me, you're famously fickle. No, but being, no, but for you, this isn't a for you thing. It's not like you. It is, it's my opinion. No, no, but it has to be born out of reality. Being fickle would be loving him because of that. Yeah. That's what you like understand. If you would allow it to cloud your judgment because mm. of that goal, that's being fickle. Mm. I don't think. I, I don't think you're, you don't respect him enough. I think it was a good finish, good goal, important goal. Your second oh, it Champions was, League. No one's denied that's, it was an important goal. It was definitely an Michi important. Mitchy Bakuai yeah. won Chelsea the league. Should I hold him in the incredibly high? In decent standard. Like more your than man you at do. Liverpool, what, he's been turfed off. Origi. Yeah. 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 But Liverpool fans love him. Yeah. yeah. Because they're loyal. Fan yeah. They can love him now because he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> you can love him from far away. I don't think Havertz gets the credit he deserves for that, Chelsea. But he is your worst signing, yeah? Yeah, because I'm <laughs> yeah. not I don't think he gets the credit he deserves. Worst signing in summer, Havertz. He just tied himself He's in He is trash, though, and he's terrible. He lost the ball seven times yeah, in the game. You lot don't respect him enough. He is terrible. He is trash. He lost the ball seven You're times. I'm not a Chelsea fan, am I? But why should my opinion be different to yours? Huh? Why should I not see the game the way you do? Because I'm not a Chelsea. Exactly. I, I, I love well, City. You, play- you only view the game through Whatever the prism Whatever happens of- to a load of players, you know, there are a load of players at the City side that, that won the Premier League for the first season. Kolarov. I, I respect him massively. No, no, but he, he's not saying he players. doesn't respect him. Yeah. He just doesn't respect him enough to still want him to play for well, Chelsea. I, I would just view it differently. That's all I'm trying to say. The fact that Chelsea let him go to Arsenal, does that not say everything you need to know about this signing? Mm. Oh, yeah, he's not good enough. He's, he's, not worst good enough. It is, it is the worst signing, definitely. So, breakthrough talent. I'm sure that we're all going to say the same name here. Ready? One, two, three. Kabi Mayer. Are you gone for a Chelsea, man? Yeah, I've okay, gone with Levi Colwell. I think uh, the big thing for me is that he's been given John Terry's number at Chelsea. He's been incredible for England, well winning before. a trophy. No, but he's a massive, massive talent. I think he's good enough to start for England tomorrow at the Euros. So he should be. Mm. I think I think that he certainly will. And I think he's definitely good enough to start for Chelsea. I think he's better than Benoit Badiashile. He was very good. I think that our best partnership is silver. Still Colwell. silver. Or do you think silver it will Colwell. go towards the more younger ones and keep... Well, Tiago in the back. The, say you did it in order, it would then go. It would then go. Badia Shile, Colwell. But there seems to be this weird thing that you couldn't have two left footers. Yeah, I don't know. Like weird with that. They don't like it, do they? No. But and if you and look, I quite like Trevor Chalaba, but I don't know what sort of. I feel like they're going to try and sell him because he's homegrown. They can make some money. But I think that my homegrown player, as much as I think Colwell's going to have a very good season, I think the breakthrough talent. I think people are aware of Colwell. You know, he's played for Brighton in the Premier League. People know how good he is. Ian Matson, though. That is a breakthrough talent. Overall, I think that Matson is going to have a huge season because there was a time when he wasn't really seen as being part of Pochettino's plans. But 
He's been so good on preseason. He was in the Championship Team of the Year last year. You know, played very well under company at Burnley. Will he, will he be start? Like, I, I genuinely don't know anything about him. Will he be starting? Will he be on the fringes? Do you think? And then kind of play his but way it, into the it, first it was eleven. So difficult. This is what I can't work out. Chelsea's preseason. You would think that it would give you an an inkling into the starting lineup, right? But I don't think it can because you know the, I saw a table of the players that have played the most minutes on this tour. You know this Premier League season yeah, yeah, yeah. series or whatever it's called. Chelsea won it. I'm not claiming it but Chelsea did win it the players that played the most minutes can't feature do you know what I mean like it's Basher Humphreys at the back it's players like that mm. who just can't feature who are just there because they're filling yeah. in gaps so, so look whilst I think he's taken over from, from Lewis Hall Matson has played loads and we and this 4-2-3-1 right it, I think he's played across the three in all the positions and can play as a left back but it's asking a lot, isn't it? Do you think because you haven't got European football this season and because you've kind of... Look, I know they've not done it yet, but you've got owners that kind of insisting on young talent. You've got mm. a manager that is, is, you know, his bread and butter is bringing through younger players and moulding them into the way he mm. sees things. Do you think that's what this season is about and therefore the breakthrough talent could come from Chelsea because there's going to be more youngsters yeah, getting think, a chance. I, I, mate, well, the fact that Boovey's <clears> gone with, with Colwell, the fact that I've gone with a Chelsea a Chelsea player as well, I think there are going to be a lot of players given given opportunities. Because also that suits Pochettino, don't you think? It, just in terms of, you know, younger players, they're generally more malleable. Like you, Pochettino will be able to demand more from a 22-year-old than he would from Aubameyang. Mm. He'll be able to tell them what to do and they will be more more inclined to listen to his wisdom than somebody like Koulibaly. So, yeah, I think yeah. you will see lots of younger players. And like I say, if if our pre-season is anything to go by, like Basha Humphreys is going to play mm. loads of football. So, so yeah, I, but look, I think Matson has been so good that he has made himself undroppable. I've gone for Kobe Maino um, because I, I think Alejandro Garnacho obviously is already kind of well-known. Mm. Um, and I think people know he's going to be a decent player. Um or very, very good player. But I think Kobe Maino is someone that's more on the fringes at United. He was given more of an opportunity in pre-season, playing alongside Casemiro. There was a game where we played our full-strength team, it felt like, and Kobe Maino was in that. Um, and I think because of the addition of, of Mason Mount coming in, sometimes Bruno Fernandes is used a little bit out wide. I can see him playing a part alongside Casemiro this season. He's such a good footballer, great on the ball. Was it deeper um, midfielder? Yeah, he plays a little bit deeper. Uh, he can play as the eight, but he plays as a six as well. Um, and I think he's just someone that's so intelligent on the ball. Unfortunately, he picked up a little bit of an injury. So we won't get to see if he would have started that first game. But I think once he's back... He will play. Maybe he'll play about 10 games this season, but he'll be a guy that at the end of this season, United fans are going, mm. let's put all our eggs in that basket because he's, he's the future. And I think Interesting. Look, a lot of young players come and go and maybe all these three players we're talking about won't be at the same teams next season. But Kobe maino has got the talent at the very least to be able to make it at Manchester United. And I'm excited to see what he does. Yeah. Bit biased, but I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think will be the first manager sacked? Moise. Yeah. You? For me, it's it's uh, heck and bottom at Sheffield United. The way he came through, he was kind of there with Wilder. He's kind of in the backroom staff. He was managing the under twenty ones, the youth academy. Then he got the job on a kind of a technicality, a little bit. When Jukanovic got sacked from Sheffield United in the championship, so I think Sheffield United's owners, I think they'll look at it. They won't win anything in the first five six games. They'll get one point and they'll be rock bottom, and they'll think. Oh, I just gamble. don't think they can afford it. You know? I don't think they can. I, I think they're going down. And I think they know they're going down. I think they're almost mm. planning to go down. And generally, sacking a manager is a symbol of ambition. Is it? It's a, it's a symbol that we've it, got a it? chance to stay in the league. Yeah. However bad we are. And I think Heckenbottom is a little bit... He did very well to get him to the, mm. to the FA Cup semi-final last season. I just think it's one of those... It's a desperation thing. They sack him anyway. Yeah. I'm with you on Moyes. Why, why do you think... I just think I think Moyes is on a hiding to nothing. I think he's a dead man walking. I think I he's yeah. been... He's, he, he was actually sacked last year. He should have been. It didn't happen because of circumstance and historic circumstance, but circumstance nonetheless. And now he will... What if they're mid-table by October? Something like that. Oh, but then, no, I'm but then obviously he doesn't... Then I'm wrong. But you're... So I'm just interested. You're, you're predicting by the first few weeks of the season what they're rock bottom? I think, I I think, think before th Christmas he could be gone. They're losing. Right. They're losing games. You know what it they're is? They're losing. Bro. But yeah, they're struggling. He never had a good season last season. And now you're taking Declan Rice out of the team. And the performance. I think like a season. I, I, I disagree. 20 games. They, 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 they lost 20 games. 
Yeah, they stayed up. West Ham fans and they won don't the European just want Cup. to stay up. They won bro. a European Cup. West Ham fans have this image that we won the World Cup and we should be doing this and that and the other. And at the very least, I kind of agree with them. They shouldn't be in the bottom five. You'd be right if they hadn't won the European Cup, but th there's a cost. It wasn't of... the European Cup. Let's get that uh, straight. Uh, 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 it was European, the equivalent yeah, of, of the Intertoto Cup. Yeah, and which is irrelevant. It's important. It's irrelevant for you. Jacob Ramsey United got fan. in it. Yeah, but you never United played fan. in Europe and he went. It meant a lot to West Ham. We can't speak without West Ham fans being here. It meant incredible amounts to West Ham fans. On the day, we have mutual friends are all there crying and, and, and yeah. an unbelievable day so basically if they hadn't have won that I'd agree with you lads but they won it that is, is that enough credit in the bank it's not a bad season but it's papering over cracks isn't it no, it's papering no. over cracks the cracks are still there yeah, but that's how managers get credit in the bank by winning football you know, matches he won a lot of football you know, matches you know the to, to you win know, the European you know the won. Moyes out campaign that was fully in existence a month before they won in Prague yeah all of the grievances around that campaign hmm. They don't. They don't disappear because you win European silverware. Because when the season starts now, those all those grievances are going to come true. I'm not saying they were amazing last season in every game, but I think they were a little bit better than you're giving them credit for because he had to balance European football. Twenty, mate. Because he had to balance European football. He played a lot well, of games. He's got to balance season. European football, and if they lose twenty games, yeah, they've got to balance it this year. Yeah, without more without, competitive European. Without, and that's why your shout that he could get sat is a fa is a yeah, fair one. Yeah, I think they're gone. 